Landscape photographer Michael Berman explores New Mexico's wilderness and ponders how we value the ecosystem. The land, and especially the American Western landscape, has something that's really hard to find, and that's that space to go off alone. In. And I, I, I think that allows you to have a, 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 both an inner dialogue as well as a dialogue that's relevant to the larger community. And it really is an amazing thing to be able to um, drive down a road, come to a gate, open it up, drive through the gate, get out of your truck, and then you know, keep walking. People have ways of understanding the bigger things, uh, and we do that with symbolic systems. We're really always thinking about these larger mysteries of what's important and how do we connect to that. In terms of the land, is there are two different ways of defining how we're seeing the landscape. And really in the contemporary world is, is humans have this incredible capacity to use things, and, and we interpret the world's values through what we can use. And right now, science is the ultimate affirmation of that. You'll find um, you know, any issue with land use, whether it's fire, uh, um, water, uh, the, the ecosystem, is this is always this idea, well, we can figure this out through science or management. And I actually uh, look at it in other ways, many of the great problems we're facing, fire, you know, introduced species, are actually somebody who thought they could figure it all out in a real simple way, and then they apply a simple solution. But yet there's these bigger, complex systems. And I think art is really a way, and aesthetics is a way of getting beyond the idea that I can reduce it to small things, but that I can look at the whole and admit I don't understand it, but actually begin to see both its manifest structure as well as its inherent values. The Gila is, uh, it's kind of an amazing place uh, in that uh, many concepts that people assume everybody knows and understands or everyone is comfortable have actually emerged in the Gila. It's a place that still teaches. Over time, um, I've learned you know, how to see a landscape. It, it, the Gila is one of the last, the last truly wild forests that's left on the planet and especially the Ponderosa, the, the large yellow pine forest, it still is a complex ecosystem that is, is um, it's working. And by working, what I mean is that uh, if you leave it alone, if humans don't interact with it, it has a dimensional complexity. For me, photography is a way of finishing a relationship. It's, it's not the beginning point. And I often find that there's a long period of time where I like to look at things. I really see my true work as looking closely at the world. I like to think that at some point in time I, I make photographs because I feel it's important to make those photographs. I, I, as an artist, one has to find something outside oneself that's more important. If you look at the tradition of landscape photography, and especially in the American West, which is really one of the iconic places where people go to make photographs, is often what you have is people 
imposing a vision on it that they already know, understand, or believe in. And I actually uh, think that our understanding of the land has to evolve beyond that because what ended up happening is that when we think about saving a landscape, we have to have the cathedral forest or we have to have this great canyon or we have to have um, you know, this, this, this pristine landscape. And what it turns out is that many of these ecosystems, I like to use the word scraggly, is that, that they're not this big, obvious, really, really, you know, wow, I just have to stand on the edge of this and get the IMAX going, that they're actually very subtle or they're, even, they're not even, in quotes, that pretty, but they can be quite wonderful to dwell within. And that if you spend time, you know, they, you begin to see the innate beauty. And I think a gift like that is the same gift of, you know, the greatest literature or philosophy or art, is the ability to come to the world anew and see it in all its manifest beauty. So what photography allows me to do is, is this amazing thing is of look at the land, look at places. I don't have the patience or interest to make a certain kind of landscape photograph, but I love looking at things. And so rather than try and make something that, that really you know, is, is this, this kind of grand landscape, which I don't really enjoy or have patience for quite, quite that much anymore, is that the more subtle things that I, I, I just find amazing uh, is, is what my work becomes about. When you ask an artist about what they hope to achieve with their work, is sometimes you can say achieving means, you know, making the history books, being considered an important artist. Rather than my work being saved, I'd much rather see some of these places be saved. I, I don't think my work is significant at all. I think these places are. <laughs>